3 Live at 9. Imagine discovering you have a skin disorder that's painful, but also, quite frankly, a mystery to the doctors you've gone to for help. Well, fortunately, recently, a patient found the Mid-South doctor with the answer. Dermatologist Dr. Sarah Smith here to raise awareness about this condition. We welcome now. I tried to pronounce this earlier, and I had a little bit of trouble with that. So go ahead. We're going to let you tell us what that condition is. It is a mouthful. So the name of the condition is hydradenitis separativa. Wow. And it's one of those medical terms that makes sense if you speak Greek <laughs> or Latin, but doesn't really make sense if you don't. So it is quite rare. Well, I wouldn't say that anymore. No. I would say 1 to 4 percent of the population deal with hydradenitis. Wow. But many people aren't aware that they have it, and it's frequently misdiagnosed. In fact, the patient we referenced, whom you were mm -hmm. able to help, went for mm -hmm. four years. Yes. And because the condition you know, I don't know if it begins with boils, but it involves sores that yes. are painful, yes. disfiguring. Yes. What? What? How, how does it develop? Is it an immune disorder? How does it develop? Well, it's complicated. So we know there's a genetic predisposition because we do see it run in families. But like many inflammatory chronic conditions, there's a uh, an environmental factor. There are. Um, probably inflammatory uh, mediators that get involved and gotcha. so um, we don't have a good understanding of, of exactly why it gets started. Hormones definitely can play a role. We see it much more in women than we do in men, although men do get it. Um, and it's common in the part of life where women are in their childbearing years, so really between puberty mm. and menopause. It sometimes goes beyond menopause, but that's really when it tends to be the when worst. When the hormones kick in. Yes, ma'am. Is there a certain part of the body that it affects more than others, or is it just anywhere? Yes, so it's usually in the skin fold. So an easier way to think about this is severe scarring cystic acne of skin folds. So we oh. see it in the underarms and in the groin. And the reason it's so confusing is that it does look like a boil. That's what people think it is initially, and they will go to the emergency room or an urgent care for a boil, and they will get it lanced or drained, and they'll get put on a short course of antibiotics. But unfortunately, because this is a chronic recurrent condition, that doesn't fix it, and it often delays diagnosis and can worsen the scarring that over time helps form these tunnels that drain pus mm. um, and yeah. and really makes the skin very hard and um, difficult to move so people actually then have some mobility issues as time goes by. So basically your aim with this is to let people know if you have a boil don't yes. just go and treat it as a boil first have right. it checked out. So if, if you have boils in your underarm and groin if you have it one time I don't know that it's unreasonable to see primary care, okay. but if you have a spot in your underarm that comes up repeatedly, that is not going to be a boil. Although it may have bacteria in it, that's not the primary problem that's going on. Well, what is the treatment for if they do have this disorder? Is so we have a variety of treatments. It can range from um, being on antibiotics long term so we don't put people on a one-week course like you might with just a, a plain old skin infection gotcha so people take antibiotics for at least three months we give them a variety of um, antiseptic washes that they can use in the area um, we use some hormonal therapies particularly in women to kind of alter the hormonal environment to make it less favorable to developing hydradenitis lesions. Um, we also have some medicines that we use to suppress inflammation that we use in a variety of autoimmune diseases. So most people now consider this to be um, an autoimmune or inf chronic inflammatory process. Wow. Hopefully those at home right now are probably saying, wait a minute, that seems to occur to me. So right. get in touch with your dermatologist. dermatologist. Say, listen, this is maybe something different than what we first thought it was. Can you examine yeah. this opportunity as well? With exactly. inflammation becoming a growing problem, obviously yeah. this will a absolutely, and, as and well. I think that is really the issue is that people get to us late when they already have a lot of scarring. And we would love to catch people when we're in the early stages so that we can keep it hopefully from progressing. Absolutely. We thank, thank you so you much so for being here much. today. Thank you for Appreciate having we put me. your information on the screen. All right. Well, come